Think twice or more before you sign on the dotted line. sign on the dotted line unless it's absolutely right for you. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brienne. You know, Grandma used to say, don't sign that paper unless you know for sure. And I truly, truly believe her words. I remember when I was about 22 years old, I was living in LA and this agent uh, wanted to make me a star. And he wanted me to sign on that paper, giving him like 30% of whatever I made. But I think that also included whatever I made in any other job. But I was smart enough under the pressure. He kind of slid that paper in front of me and wanted me to sign, but I didn't sign it. I walked away. I had remembered what grandma told me. If someone is pressuring you to sign something, it's likely not the right thing for you. And so I carried that through, whether it's buying a car, buying a house, anything where I feel pressure, I tend not to sign it because often what is being pressured is not going to be right for my life. It's right for their life, but not for mine. And so I always remember, be very, very careful and read the contracts that you are signing, even the online contracts. I'm doing a class right now in my college and we're talking about um, contracts and online contracts. People often think clicking that little box, you know, where it says, you know, when you click it, it's the same as a signature. Often people think, ah, this is not a real contract, but it often is a real contract. And so, I, and a lot of times people don't even read what's behind there. And so I truly believe in reading before you sign something and making sure you fully, fully understand what you're getting yourself into. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope to talk to you soon again. And so from grandma's house to wherever you're at, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's work.